Hello, 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 and welcome to my favourite half hour of the week, Bezel's Game Show. Great games, and some of them this week go with a bang. We've got great gigs and loads of laughs, so enjoy. It's just mind over matter. I don't mind. You don't either. Oh, and what do you call a piglet that does karate? I don't know. What do you call a piglet that does karate? A pork chop. Boomo, boomo! Yeah, Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Right. A bit of jazz hand action there from the animals. OK, it's the first round of games. It's push, dunk, flash. Repeat as necessary. It's dunk bits, and here's the teams. We are the Tigers. We've got the bite. We're going to win the Bezel Brush fight. Bees and the Zephyrins, you're going to moan, cos you're going to get a gorilla ride home. We're the bees and we're the best. We'll get you down and the knees, you stinky pet. So buzz off. Three, five, seven, nine. Watch us kick your big behind like that. Uh, push it, push it, watch us work it. We're perfect with the Zephyrins. <laughs> OK, it's a knockout. Three teams are going to be starting, but only one team will have the chance to win. And go home with all the big prizes! Oh, oh, I know. Right home and tell your mum. Basil, get yourself into position, please. All right. <clears throat> I'm in all the way, dunk fans. <laughs> Good. Daniel, how are you feeling? Fine. Yeah? What are you going to score? 1,000. 1,000? That ain't me too high then, Sam. All the work to do. Best of luck with you. Basil, we're ready. OK, Tigers, will you be a roaring success? Go in three, two, one, push! Good push, Sam. That's very strong. That's far too strong. That's definitely going in. My experience tells me so much like a good ah! <laughs> They've wet their bed, Neil Bois. Tiger Daniel horizontal on the bed, but now he's vertically challenged. Stripey splash. No time to pause, and Daniel's tiger paws get us soaking. <laughs> Daniel's gone in the drink. Let's go to Frosty and confirm it. Confirming the scores on the doors, Frosty's fridge doors. It's a proper dunk. Nil points for the tiger. <laughs> the bees are dancing over there. Isabella, how are you feeling? Nervous. You've got zero points to beat. You're going to do it? Yep. What are you hoping for? Over 500. Over 500? Are you up to the task, Grace? Can you do 500? I don't know. Well, we're about to find out. Basil, we're ready. Will these queen bees be the bee's knees? Find out in three, two, one, push! Good push, Grace. Come on, a bit soft. are going tailing off minus 25 let's go to frosty and make it uh, honey sweeter than that push but the scores on frosty's fridge doors reveal the scores are minus 25 points for the bees <laughs> okay i feel it is my national duty to point out that if you get zero in this round you are definitely going through as far as the points stand so far do you know how to get zero points in the drink. Yes, in the drink. Uh, you can hear the tigers in the back there saying, go, push her in the drink, push her in the drink. It's entirely up to you. Thompson? Yep. Are you ready for this? Yes, I am. Let's see what happens. Basil? Will we see a zebra crossing? Crossing the line into the drink? We'll find out in three, two, one. Push! Go on, Tom, Come on, Dan. Come on into the drink. It's a point scoring push. Come on, I feel thirsty. Or is it too far? I don't know, you know, I think this I might like just settle. Top gear as she races into the watery guns. Oh, a zebra catching flies! Whee! <laughs> Nil points. <laughs> well played, Greer. Let's find out for official what the score is. In the drink, I think. And Frosty confirms the scores on his fridge doors as zero points for the zebras. <laughs> okay, a quick check of the.
the scores at the halfway point of this week's game reveals the bees are behind with their minus 25 points, but both the zebras and the tigers went in the drink, so they get zero points apiece. It's all to play in the next round. Come on. Yeah. Oh, dear, that very girly woo then from the floor manager. That means it's time for the double dunk round. Now, what that means is that you can push this bed and you can score double points depending on where you land. Of course, if you land in zero, it's still a zero. If you land on 50, that's 100 points. If you land on minus 25, however, that's minus 50. Ooh. The minus zone, exactly. You don't want to be there. You ready for this, Daniel? Yeah. Best of luck. Basil, we're ready. Come on, Tigers. Get your teeth into this one. Going in three, two, one. Push! Good luck, Daniel. Very strong push. Believe it or not, it's going to keep moving. It's in 10, it's still going, it's still going, it's still going! We're in 25, that's 50 if, uh, if we double it, so let's go to Frosty and confirm it. Confirming the scores on Frosty's Freak doors, it's 25 points, double it, because it double dunks, makes 50. Combining that with their first round score of zero points, the Tigers have 50 points! <laughs> Time. The zebras are celebrating. Is that an early celebration for no reason? We'll find out. Of course, you're feeling pretty cool about this, Thompson, yeah? Yep. Got to get 50 or more, dude, to definitely go through. How are you feeling? Yeah, 50-50, yeah. 50-50 on. That's actually quite a nice way of answering. That's what you need, actually. Greer, are you ready? Yep. OK, Basil, we're all set, mate. Will the zebras be trotting through to the next round? Find out in three, two, one. Push! Good Come push. On That's a scoring push. That's yeah, looking good. That's a scoring push. Looking very good. from the zebras there they got 75 points you double dunk it double the score to 150 points combine that with their first round score of zero points they get 150 points <laughs> So the tigers and the zebras are waiting with bated breath. It's more like fish breath, actually. It's why you're supposed to brush in the morning. But anyway, over to the bees. Whoa. Are you ready for this? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Grace, you sound a little nervous. I feel it. OK. Yeah. Well, listen, it's going to be all right. You've got to score 50 points or more, though, to definitely go through. Do you think you're going to do it? Yes. Yes. Just a... <laughs> OK, then, Isabella, it's all down to you. No pressure. Everyone's watching. <laughs> Basil, we're ready. Will it be big points for the busy bees? Find out in three, two, one. Push! Come on! Oh, it's a bit soft. It's very soft. I don't think it's going to make it. It's definitely not going to make 50, I don't think. Maybe minus 50. Oh, Isabella, it's going to the minus 25. That's on minus 25. Let's go to Frosty and check those scores. Confirming the scores on Frosty's fridge doors. Minus 25, you double it, because it's double dunk time means minus 50. Combining that with their first round score of minus 25, I'm afraid it's no honey pot for the bees. Minus 75 points! <laughs> Team Tiger and Team Zebra are cheering there through to the next round, which means we've got to say goodbye to the bees, everybody. Oh. Sorry, bees. You've enjoyed yourself, though, Isabella, yeah? Yep. How about you, Grace? Yeah. Look at what you've got, though. You'll be living pencil sharpeners. Look at that! That's what it's all about. And, of course, you get one more thing, which we all know. Basil, they get their G-R-H, their gorilla ride home! <laughs> well done, guys. See you later. Bye-bye. See ya. ta -ra. Well done, the bees. Brush. Profession? No thanks, I've already got one. Specialist subject? Noises. Right. <clears throat> Here's the first question. What noise does a dog make? <coughs> Correct. What noise does a glass smashing make? <coughs> Correct. What noise does the TARDIS make? <gasps> Correct. What noise does a tin of baked beans make? No, I'm sorry, I was looking for... Oh, 
God, I'm chewing that one. Oh. What oh. noise gets played on Mastermind when times... I'm sorry, I've started, so I'll finish. What noise is played on Mastermind when times... I'm sorry, I'll start it. Oh, come on, furry face. How many times have I got to do this noise? Correct. At the end of that round, you scored a few points and no passes. Oh, brilliant! <laughs> I tell you what, I think all these blinking noises makes me want to... <laughs> OK, it's round two and just the tigers and the zebras are left. Myself and Barney are doing a spot of sightseeing <laughs> along the seven great wonders of the world, and here I am at the Great Wall of Bone, China. Say cheese, Basil. Say cheese, Basil. Thank Very you. nice. <laughs> As you can see, the Great Wall here has been decked out with Bone China, lovingly supplied hmm. by knockoff Nigel. Come and get it, come and get your lovely Bone China Western goods at South End Prices, signed by the Chuckle Brothers and Ziggy from Big Brother. Totally authentic. I mean, look at my face. Will I lie to you? <laughs> you set him up. And I knock him down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all right, I'm all right. <laughs> it's a smashing time, me old China. Teams will swing this wrecking ball into the wall and knock the bone china pieces off and into the crash zone. There are 75 pieces of bone china. To win, you have to smash more pieces than the opposition. Simple, eh? The height of the ball can be adjusted at any time by pulling on this rope, just like that, which means that you can aim the ball just right. Ah, yeah. Oi, careful! You're like a bull in a china shop. Well, I'm not, but the teams are. Swing when you're winning, me old china. I wonder if you can see this game from space. Well, the zebras are in place. 75 pieces on the ball, 60 seconds on the clock. Let's get wrecking. In three, two, one, smash away! Oh, Come on, you can do it. Oh, well played, well played. Good job, Get the Quick, ball get back. back, get it back. Get the ball back, let it come. Back in your spot, get back in your spot, quick. Let me okay. go. Whoa. Stop it. Good shots, good shots. Careful, down. Bezel, what are you talking about? <laughs> Whoa! They're the best ones, Basil, near you. To the right, to the right. Oh, oh we're looking. Okay, I'm looking. And again. I feel perfectly safe up here. Oh, what well play. Come on, you can and do again. it, you can do it. Whoa! Oh! Hey, nobody's coming near me, Barney. Oh. You've got eight seconds left. Six, five, four, three, two. One more chance, one more queen. Go. Not wrecking me, old China. Okay, we've had a bit of a count up, Zebras. We can now confirm that your score is 18. Gotta <laughs> say, I thought, I thought it was more than that, but 18 is a very good score, apparently. Okay. Than what I thought. It is. Well, that's a good no, thing. Okay. Good. Well, Thompson, do you think the Tiger's going to beat your score? Probably, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. Hopefully you'll still be in the game. If you go and wait over there with your mascot, we'll see you in a bit. Well done, Zebras. Team Tigers, get yourselves ready. Take up the slack. Sam, you're pulling the rope. Daniel, you're throwing the ball. OK, Basil, we're ready. The Team Tigers are now in place. We've got 60 seconds on the clock. They know what they've got to beat. 18. So let's get wrecking, Tigers. Three, two, one. Smash away! Shaking the wall. Oh, will that, will that pull it off? Oh, oh, I'm lucky. I'm lucky. Come on, you can do it. Oh, oh yeah, there goes another. 
Oh, great shot, great shot. Oh, That's it, you got six seconds. Five, oh, quick, get one, one more in. in. One more in. Yeah. And again. Don't wreck him, we are crying now. Boom, boom. Team Tigers, it looks good, but is it good enough? Well, we're about to count all the pieces up, and while we do that, have a look at the highlights. So the Zebras went first and swung into action. The backswing technique proved fruitful. Four in one. A higher swing and more success. Another couple down. Smashing. So the Tigers had a tough act to follow. Nearly got that nice fox then. <laughs> but on the backswing, it's tea for three pieces of China. Shatter. Oh, big jug bashing. Beauty, but is it enough? OK, this is where we find out who has won. Now, the Zebras, you went first. You scored a whopping 18 points, everybody. <laughs> the Tigers then stepped up and, I thought, put on a blinding performance. And I, I think you might have scored pretty well, too. I now can confirm by the power of the magic finger and the ear. The Tigers have scored... 15! Oh, unlucky! I'm sorry to say, Tigers, that means... Great effort, but that means we've got to say goodbye to the Tigers, everybody. Oh, oh, bye, bye, you get your wheelie and pencil sharpness, there you go. There's yours as well, Sam, and of course you get one final thing. What's that, Basil? They get their G-R-H, their gorilla right home! Yeah. See you later, guys. Well played. Cheers, Daniel. Bye-bye. Bye, bye. bye, bye, bye Sam. See you later. In recent months, we have watched a group of so-called superheroes bungle their way through each episode like a load of nincompoops on holiday. Well, I for one have had enough. If I wanted to watch monkeys, I'd go to a zoo. <laughs> Do you want a banana? Do you? Go on, have a banana. Go on, little monkey. Oh, sorry. Their story continues. No, no, it's not. A, no, it's not a B, is it? Because you've got there's a B there. See that big B with a cross out there? Yeah. That, that I've B. got it. I mean, yeah. Was the Osborne? No, no. Look, I give you one more clue. Okay, it's your last one. Right. Think. Okay. He's green. He likes to forage, and he's not standing a million miles away. Titchmarsh. No! <laughs> oh. oh, it's the door. Someone's okay. at the door. Who's that coming in? Hello. Hiya. Hey! I am Freeze Blade. <laughs> and I'm sorry for my intrusion, but I seem to have been looking for you for a while now to assist you on your quest to defeat the mysterious bad guy. Ah! Oh. Hooray! Stop and wait. Hold on a second. What? How on earth did you find us, Freeze Blade? This hideout is so secret, even I don't know where it is. <laughs> well, you left your address on the uh, How Do I Defeat the Mysterious Bad Guy Facebook group. Oh, oh yes, of course. I uh, oh, forgot great. about that. Sorry. <laughs> but before you join us, would you please tell us what your superpower is? Of course. I have the power to summon upon the Antarctic winds whenever oh. I choose oh. wow. to render any foe frozen. Now, that is a superpower. Hooray, yeah. can I do my new member dance? Yeah, go on. New member, da 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 da, new member, da da da, new member, da 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 da. Uh, sorry. New oh. member, da da da, new member, da da. Okay, now that Freeze Blade has joined us, let's get down to business, okay? Hangman! All oh, right, yeah. Mm. Right. Hang on a second. You're telling me we're playing Hangman instead of looking for the mysterious bad guy? Uh -huh. We don't know where he is. Yeah, and if we went out to look for him, we wouldn't be able to play Hangman. Mm. Uh, George Osborne, the Shadow Chancellor. It's Sorry. not. No, no, it's not. <sighs> so, so what do you do all day? You just stay around here and play games? Yeah, but we do other stuff. Daniel Day-Lewis. Uh, topical, but no, 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 no. Like what? Well, sometimes we play Scrabble. Soup, Spider Pig! <laughs> no, it's not Spider Pig. Come on, Freeze, buddy, join in. I'm sorry, but I can't. 
You are all a bunch of lazy, word game obsessed tweeds, and you will never defeat the mysterious bad guy. And you stay down here today playing boggle. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Chill out, Freeze Blade. No, you chill out. <gasps> Winds of the Antarctic, hear my call. Freeze these heroes oh, once oh, and for all. Oh, 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 oh. Well, if this is being good, then I'm glad to be bad. I'm going to join the mysterious bad guy. <laughs> yes, correct. Well done. <laughs> Next week on Zeros. Forager finally reveals some clues from his past. Look, it's Forager. Think, look, you've got the Orager. The Orager's there, he's green, million miles away. There's an F there, there's an F, isn't there? An F. Honestly, you call yourselves word game enthusiasts, I don't Red know. Red Melvin finally loses his rag. It's blue, a bit frayed, a little bit smelly, but I can't sleep without it. <laughs> and Foxman finally lets the cat out of the bag. Uh, uh, here, here, Tiggles, here, Tiggles, where are you, Tiggles? Zeros, making their city, sorry, their settee, a safer place. Well, it's the final game for the big prizes. It is, and just the team zebras are left. Now, it's not every day that one of the world's finest chefs eats at Fet Berry's Greasy Spoon Cafe and enjoys Berry's dish of the day, Fish fingers, chips and beans. This is true. I just hope that Gordon Blimey likes the food. Mm -hmm. uh, fish fingers, uh, good. Uh, nice golden crumb, yep, good. Uh, <laughs> fish, flaky. <laughs> it melts in the mouth. Yeah, good job, big boy. <laughs> OK, and, and, and what about uh, the, the chips? Chips, uh, yeah, good. <laughs> Crinkled, nice shape. <laughs> Well cooked on the outside, soft in the middle. Ten out of ten, yeah. Well, it's going very well so far. Yeah. He's not as scary as people make him out to be. He's a little pussy cat. So, so what about the beans then? Uh, beans, yeah. Baked, mm. nice shade of orange there. Mm -mm -mm. Easy on the palate, yeah. Soft in texture. Hang on. I don't believe this! This is an outrage! Um, uh, 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 what is it, Gordon, sir? There's a spaghetti hoop in my baked beans! Ooh. Is this some kind of joke? <laughs> Do I look like an idiot? <laughs> don't answer that! <laughs> You're taking the rice and peas out of me. What's my name? Ace is Chuffin Harriet! Oh dear. We'd better make it up to Gordon Blamey immediately. Oh dear. Well, we've got five food delicacies for him. And a fast moving Gundulator! It's Gundulator time! Gundulator, uh, good big boy, come on! <laughs> okay, here's the drill. At the end of the Gundulator is our top celebrity chef, Gordon Blimey. Bowl, spoon, cornflakes, milk, pour, eat. <laughs> Gun, uh. <laughs> so there are going to be five levels to face, OK? With each level, the guns later gets a bit quicker. There are also going to be five obstacles making it harder the more you progress. Also, there are five prizes to be won, one for each level. <laughs> OK, let's get the gun later moving. Dr John, crank them up. Hey! Level one. This is for the lollipop lady's favourite, the wheelie bin pencil sharpeners. Yeah, 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 yeah. We've got loads oh, well of time, done. mate. Big run up, mate. Big run up. That's it. Go for it. Good job. Well played. Carry on. Yeah, up. Uh, good. A big posh leap there with caviar. It's level two. The gundulator is getting faster. A game with rockets. Explosive. This is for the rocket game. Come on, Grant. Come on, Grant. Come on, Grant. Oh, well played. A big run up. Take your time. Well done. Well done. Well done. Loves the big boy. It's level three. The gundulator is speeding up once again. They said it couldn't be done. Mixing a cube and a game. Who's laughing now? Cube games are up for grabs. Oh. Steady as hell. Pull it, pull it. Ooh, well done. Yeah. Steady Steady as hell. Nice big run up, Thompson. Pins and 
saucepans, but Thompson is cooking on gas. No problemo. It's level four. The gondolator is speeding up again. Play games sitting on the loo? Up for grabs. It's customized wrapped games consoles. Your yeah, last one. Make it a good one. Come up. Girl Pa takes her over the spice rack, just wibbly wobbly. But then a tantalizingly terrifying tiramisu tangle, and she's down. Tasty. Assume your position. We're not gonna gunge you later. We're gonna gunge you now. Go back. See you later. Faster than a stick. Well, that's Grey in the Gungeon out of the game, so they don't get the fourth prize of the game's consoles, but they might still get the top prize because it's level five and top film and DVD players are up for grabs. OK, Thompson, you've got to grab the cheese now, mate. Take grab the cheese. Thompson, Thompson, Thompson. You've got to get it to the cracker. Take your time. It's your last run. Take your time. Come on, Thompson. Great job, great job. With the cheese, oh. break the cracker with the cheese. That's what it's all about. Cheese and crackers. Can you make it? Yeah! A spice breath, leap and stample. But cheese and crackers never tasted so good together. Ooh, he's cracked it. Mmm. Now, that is how you ride the gondolator in style. Thompson, how are you feeling? Very good. Priya, how about you? Good. You got four prizes out of the five. That can't be bad. Hey, do you want to call them in? There we go, beautiful. <laughs> Look at this. Hey! DVD players, the Rocky Race game, the DVD you saw good, and of course you got your weird pencil sharpness. Are you happy? Yes, very. Yes? Very. Beautiful. Hey! Basil, we're all set. So we've got some very pleased gandulators, and we've also helped Gordon Blamey to get all his favourite foods. Wow. <laughs> but I think he's on the telephone right now to a few rival TV chefs. <laughs> no, no, Jella. I've got a better idea. Why don't you shove a chocolate eclair in your face? <laughs> Hello, Ainsley. You again for the last time you boil a leg for three minutes. <laughs> Hello, Jamie Oliver. What is your problem with turkey twizzlers? I've eaten them my whole life, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and there's nothing wrong with me. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, sadly, that's all we've got time for this week. Hope you've enjoyed it. I have. We'll see you next time for another Bezels game show. And guess what? Oh! Nothing. Boom, boom. Basil will be back on your telly tomorrow morning with his swap shop, which you can see on CBBC on BBC Two at nine o'clock. But if you can't wait until then, why not go onto the CBBC website, click on Basil Swap Shop, and take a sneaky peek at what's up for grabs? A surprise success rocks BB's loyalty to Free Phonics later. Let's hope Mo and Freeze can talk some sense into her. Then we join the parents in the smokehouse to see if they can continue to stay smoke-free. That's off the Cramp Twins, who are here next. <laughs>